Hey fish heads, I'm back. Just got back from vacation. Um, East Coast family reunion. Had a fantastic time. Um, my family surprised me with this little doodad, which is the revamped, hyped up version of the old original GoPro. Um, I guess you can call it the Retro Pro. It is uh, it's specifically for underwater shots, um, but it's got a, a really good lens in it as well. It, it doesn't have, like I can't, there's no way to not waterproof this thing, so this is definitely going to be my new waterproof GoPro, and it's also, I'm thinking about, um, if this if this test video turns out really well, I'm thinking about doing the, um, the video shoots in here, in the studio, doing the spray sessions from this, and I'm itching to get back into it. Um, feels like I've been away forever, it's only been a couple of weeks. I uploaded for the first week. I had some stuff timed out so that you guys could you still take advantage of the spray sessions. Um, I'm looking forward to doing more stuff like this with you guys as well. And uh, it's like seriously getting back into it. But sometimes you just got to figure out like, well, how, no, that's not a slipper. It's a dog toy. Um, how do you get back into it? I think this way. Um, so from time to time, I get a bunch of, um, well, I go to the post office and I pick it up there. I get some fan mail, and this one is super inspiring. And Dennis Good, man, kudos to you, brother. This is so, so heartwarming and touching to read something like this. And uh, it's a very long letter, but basically, uh, I'm going to read you a few pieces from this, and, and I want to share because hopefully that this stuff is going to inspire you guys out there in YouTube land and in, uh, in small areas. And shoot, you know, the next time that I complain about not having enough light in my, in my studio or any of that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to reread this letter. So Dennis is a subscriber to the, to, to the YouTube channel. And it says, we've emailed before, and I thought you might like to see how you and your tutoring videos have become a part of my daily life. Well, thank you. First found your videos about three years ago while undergoing chemotherapy treatment for stage 3 lung cancer. Holy cow, Dennis. Um, wow. You are a very strong man. So, you have made it through thus far, God willing, and that's awesome. So, suffice it was to say that after watching a couple of videos... I was hooked and started following you and, and Michael Orenstein during treatments. I watched hours upon hours of lower painting videos. My tumors were wrapped around my windpipe and were inoperable. Prognosis wasn't really highly regarded as the radiation treatments needed to reduce the tumors would only be possible by passing upwards from under my rib cage and passing through the lower portions of my already damaged lungs, causing more damage. When provided with one only option for treatment, and really not treating, there's only one course to follow. Long story short, treatment was successful, and I've been cancer-free, knock on wood, and I'll say God willing, for roughly two years now. Um, although successful, the cancer and treatment have left me unable to work due to the loss of the use of about 60% of my lung capacity. Life's bumpy road continued for roughly two years. With the loss of my income and medical bills, etc., some changes were necessary. So my wife and I now live full-time in our fifth-wheel camper. My wife is now a travel nurse and we do 13 week assignments. Here for 13, then move on to the next assignment for 13 weeks, following our whims and the weather that I can tolerate with my lung condition. I started painting lures shortly after we started our nomadic lifestyle about nine months ago and I love it. I'm currently working on putting my website together under the name of Nomad Custom Baits. So if you guys, if he's got his website together, go check out Nomad Custom Baits. I haven't seen it yet and I can't wait to see it. He's got some pictures in here so I'm going to show you those. Living and traveling in a fifth wheel is not especially suited to a productive painting schedule and has been challenging. My current solution to the frequent changes of address is that I've configured a portable studio in the 6x6x6 six 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 shelter that I've included pictures of. Check this out, you guys. This guy paints off of his trailer, hooked up to power, and, and I'm going to show you more pictures, but this is one of the coolest, most unique, out-of-the-box adaptations for a studio and, and, and painting that I've ever seen. My one word of caution to you, Dennis, is make sure you're wearing a respirator. Please, please, please wear a respirator, especially with your lung condition. 
um, because even though most of the paints you're probably working with are water soluble, uh, I'm going to caution you that it could aggravate your condition. So, but we're going to show you guys more pictures. Let's get back to this letter. My typical day consists of usually watching any new videos you've put out or reviewing some of your other videos while doing three to four hours of painting during the cooler morning hours until the heat drives me inside the camper. Then during the evening hours I go back out and either unwrap the bills or put the eyes on or dip the lures or do the hardware and packaging. Weekends are reserved for spending time with my wife exploring the area that we're in or fishing and testing out new patterns. I'm currently averaging between 40 and 50 completed baits a week. That's awesome. Um, doing batch runs of 20 to, uh, 10 to 20 per session, depending on pattern difficulty, of course. I also get some bait sales and orders within the campground we are staying in. Dennis, this is fantastic. This is such an inspiration. And if, if people are not moved by this letter that Dennis has sent me, shame on y'all. Because this is an amazing... This is, this is an affirmation right here that through all things, anything is possible. Anything. My current goal is to paint and inventory six, 600 to 700 baits until next spring, then start doing weekend craft fair or festival booth sales to generate income and customer base. I'm also hoping to move into a, a towable trailer-based studio. I am by no means a religious guy, although I do believe in a higher power than myself. I truly feel that God's guiding hand has led to the discovery of the craft of crankbait painting and your tutorials in particular. I also believe that we are all blessed with skills and talents that each of us is expected to pass on to others, and that when someone has a positive effect on your life, you owe it to that special person to let them know you feel blessed by learning from them. Jen, you encourage me and continue to inspire me with your teaching and your craft. Dennis, I don't know what to say. That's, um... That's pretty special. Thank you. I was in a dark place when I realized I could no longer continue my craft and occupation as a cabinet maker. But you've helped me get back in my f to being happy in life again. Let me read that again because that's important. I was in a dark place when I realized that I could no longer continue my craft and occupation as a cabinet maker, but you have helped me get back to being happy in life again. Your love and fervor of your craftsmanship and painting lures is evident in all of your videos. Your extremely well-delivered tutorials really helped me and many other people, as in evident the amount of subscribers that follow and comment on everything that you do. <laughs> um, thank you. That's uh, There are no more humbling words that I could get than that. So. Wow. I just wanted to let you know how much you've impacted my life in a positive way. Folks, please go check out Nomad Custom Baits. Dennis, I hope you have your website up. And if you don't, leave me a comment and let me know how people can check you guys out. Um, and you know what? I don't know your wife's name because you did not mention her. But holy crap. Um, to go through the life changes that you guys have gone through and persevered and I'm sure it's not always a cakewalk I, I can't even imagine there's no words that any of us any of us um, could could even come close to comparing our lives with because everybody has to walk their own path but hey um, you guys have really really moved me you and your wife so God bless you and hold you and keep you and Live your life, brother. Live it fun. Live it as, as best as you can. And I think that you have a, an amazing gift. And I'm about to show people the picture. So here we go. You guys saw the studio. How cool is that? It's a tent. But check it out. Look at what he's done to the inside of this tent. Now he's got to set it up and tear it down every 13 weeks right now. Every 13 weeks. But look at how cool this is. Look at this. This is awesome. He's got a fan, I, I, uh, maybe a little ventilation system, Dennis, if you have ventilation, um, or a way to get the paint air out of there. Um, good, good. And, and please use more than just a dust mask because some of the solvents, especially the epoxies, regardless of what epoxy you're using, it's going to get to you. So I, I can't stress enough. And I'm sure that you are probably aware that you got, you got to wear a respirator. And I can't wait to see what you do with a, a, a movable, towable trailer that you don't have to tear up and, and set up. And So check this out. Look at these pictures, you guys. 
and we're gonna get back to the we're gonna get back to spray set sessions now that I'm home these are good these are fantastic Dennis really good display really good depth of knowledge and your lures are looking great bud so I this this video is all about you I, I had to give it back you got to pay it forward folks you've got to pay it forward these are great words cannot describe how I'm feeling right now bro really really good detail in these Dennis I'm proud of you I'm proud of your wife I'm proud of everything that you've overcome so far um, I hope you have a fantastic day and I just had to give you a shout out you rock brother you're my you're my new inspiration so that's it that's all I've got for this video and I think that's a good way to get back into the spray session so they'll be produced and coming out by the weekend hopefully I've got more family in town this has been the craziest couple of months that I've had in a while but it's a good crazy when you're surrounded by love and family there's nothing else there's there's nothing else in the world keep fighting the good fight Dennis thanks a lot you guys leave him a comment of support below in the description and thanks for watching Jekyll Bates we'll see you on the next one happy casting